March 27, PeopleSoft expanded e-procurement fluid requisition capabilities, adding features to the Requisition and My Requisitions pages. On the Requisition Defaults page, you can now define default field values for a requisition. Use the Add One-Time Address button to enter a one-time shipping address for your requisition. Click the Shopping Cart icon to access the Checkout page, where you can select a single requisition or multiple requisitions. You can then add them to the Favorites list, delete them, or change requisition information. Use the Mass Change option to modify multiple requisition lines all at the same time. The Load Values from Defaults button displays the field values that you've already set for the requisitions. Select the View Details icon to access the Line Details page. The Line Details page displays all the information pertaining to the requisition item. You can select each category on this page and make the required modifications. On the My Requisitions page, you can now perform copy and view print actions for ordered requisitions. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Requisition Enhancements. In Image 27, we've expanded the Comprehensive Supplier Secure Portal feature by including the Fluid Purchase Order Acknowledgement, or POA, functionality and the configurable My Preferences page. The PO Acknowledgement tile displays a chart with an overview of the transactions that are waiting to be acknowledged. The configurable My Preferences page allows suppliers to prioritize and respond to PO acknowledgements by using the default view by option, the Acknowledge with Pending Review lines, and the Acknowledgement Due view buckets. On the PO Acknowledgement page, suppliers can quickly and easily view, filter, update, and respond to POAs. The multiple view by options allow suppliers to choose how to list purchase orders and to prioritize their response. Enhanced filter capabilities allow additional refinements of search results. The Acknowledge PO page provides a single page view of the header, line, and schedule information of the selected purchase order. Suppliers can acknowledge, save, reject, or reset the PO from this page. Suppliers can use the Reviewed switch to mark the lines they have reviewed. The Line filter provides an option to filter PO lines by the review status of Reviewed or Pending Review. This prevents suppliers from having to search for lines that require their review. In addition, suppliers can set up preferences to check if a PO that is Pending Review is being acknowledged. When suppliers click the Acknowledge button, the system displays a message of warning, error, or of no additional action. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Purchase Order Acknowledgements feature. In Image 27, PeopleSoft added the Bank Transfer tile to the Cash Management Fluid homepage enabling you to update existing bank transfer details and create new bank transfers. On the Bank Transfer Center page, you can create a bank transfer and view all your bank transfers and their status. To view the details of an existing bank transfer, select a bank transfer row. The details display on the Bank Transfer Review page. Add attachments and view details of bank transfers regardless of their status. However, to update other details, such as summary and bank information, the status of the bank transfer must be new. Use the Update button to view the Bank Account Transfer page. On the Bank Account Transfer Summary page, modify details such as Transfer Template ID, Description, and Transfer Date. In Update mode, the Business Unit, Transfer Type, and Transfer ID fields are not editable. When you create a new bank transfer, you can specify the transfer type as internal or external. Based on this selection, the fields on the Summary and Bank Information pages will vary. The Bank Information page displays the details of the originating and destination banks. You can also view the balance details of both banks before and after the transfer. On the Review and Submit page, review the details of the bank transfer, upload attachments related to the bank transfer, and submit the bank transfer for processing. This completes our demonstration of the Bank Transfer Center in Fluid feature.
Lease Accounting Phase 4 shares lease functionality between asset management and lease administration, enabling asset management users to use lease administration features delivered in the previous three phases. This functionality specifically addresses the core accounting requirements for payables leases. A new activity guide is available to perform all tasks for the migration. This activity guide is for customers who migrate asset management leases to lease administration and use the new accounting standard. With the Guided Migration Process Activity Guide, perform tasks necessary to complete data migration and transition to the new accounting standard. Tasks are classified into five sections. Initial Assessment of Asset Management Pre-Migration Configuration Migration Process Preparing to Transition to the New Standard and transition to the new standard. Tasks are organized in a hierarchical manner. The progress of each task is displayed in the right pane. This completes our discussion of the Lease Accounting Phase 4 feature. An asset profile is used to add assets to the system using predefined depreciation and tax criteria for a specific asset type. With PeopleSoft Image 27, PeopleSoft added the status field to the Asset Profile definition page. The status field enables users to mark an asset profile active or inactive. When set to inactive, the profile will be unavailable for selection when adding new assets. This prevents obsolete profiles from populating an asset with incorrect depreciation and tax criteria. This completes our discussion of the Asset Profile Inactivation Enhancement. In Image 27, PeopleSoft Billing allows you to calculate taxes from the Invoice page without having to navigate to the Summary page. Use the Calculate Taxes icon on the Standard Billing header page to display the Bill Summary Info page with the tax information. When you access the Bill Summary Info page with the Calculate Taxes icon on the Billing header page, the Calculate Taxes button is not available on the Summary page. You can also access the Bill Summary page with the Summary link on the header page. The Calculate Taxes icon is not available for invoices that have a status of invoiced or final. This completes our discussion of the Calculating Taxes When Saving Invoice feature. In Image 27, PeopleSoft Billing provides the capability to have courtesy copy addresses on consolidated headers. You can add multiple copy addresses for the header. In addition, you can select the copy address link on the header page to access the Create Consolidated Header Copy page. This completes our discussion of the courtesy copy of Consolidated Invoices feature. In Image 27, PeopleSoft provides new search capabilities for award and contract general components using Elasticsearch technology, including keyword search capabilities across many contract and award attributes. This keyword search capability includes lower-level fields such as Department, Letter of Credit ID, and Billing Specialist. Keyword search filters group contracts and awards with similar attributes. Advanced Search Capabilities reduces the time spent locating a particular group of awards or contracts within the system. This completes our discussion of the Component Keyword Search for Grants Contracts feature. Accounting Tag, a centralized and standardized accounting definition, is designed for financial products in Fluid and Classic Plus. It's a simplified method to manage and maintain accounting data and provides grouping capabilities to streamline and filter accounting tag selection. In Image 27, PeopleSoft extends the use of accounting tags to online journal entry, budget journal entry, and journal Excel spreadsheet upload. Accounting tags replace speed types for these journal entry points after you adopt the feature for General Ledger. This completes our discussion of the Accounting Tag in General Ledger Journal feature.
with Image 27, Oracle PeopleSoft expands the system for award management or SAM functionality, leveraging the new SAM taxpayer name field from the inbound interface file. This field contains the name that the Internal Revenue Service has on record for 1099 reporting purposes. Select the Use Taxpayer Name for Alternate Withholding field on the Federal Processing Options page. This enables the PeopleSoft system to update the supplier withholding information based on the name contained in the SAM Taxpayer Name field if it is different from the legal business name. This completes our discussion of the SAM Revised General Services Administration Requirements feature. In Image 27, we added two new actionable exception reports to my work on the Contracts Work Center Contracts for Activation and Invalid Billing Plans. These reports improve your overall efficiency when creating and maintaining contracts, allowing you to take action on an individual contract or to apply updates en masse. The Invalid Billing Plans report provides a list of billing plans where a billing specialist, billing address, or phone number is inactive. You can update the information on the contract bill plan individually or en masse prior to processing the bill. The Contracts for Activation report provides the ability to activate contracts en masse or individually. This completes our discussion of the Activating Contracts and Update Bill Plans en masse feature. The following features were also added to Update Image 27. ISO 20022 Customer Credit Transfer Initiation for Switzerland, Electronic Submission of Invoices for Italy, and Prepaid Enhancements for GST. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.